keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we're gonna talk about three lockdown bills at three different heights, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's like up the video, puts the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put you know the game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. So the first height that we're gonna go with is a 6-6 lockdown build, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do is, okay, point guard, shooting guard, doesn't really matter, right? Small forward, it doesn't really matter. Like, in the day is like all about where do you want to be positioned at um i will say this at 6'6 you definitely should be having some type of dribbling in my opinion because it doesn't make sense to be 6'7 or 6'8 and trying to dribble and be a lockdown you lose so much from 6'6 to 6'8 so it makes sense if you're gonna be 6'6 to have the ability to dribble so i'm going down to 190 pounds and of course my wingspan i am going to max it all the way out now again maxing out the wingspan is always up to the individual you could go shorter or you can go longer wingspan i am with with these builds i am just kind of with the mindset that this will be more of a secondary ball ha handler hash type lockdown build um so if you have the ability to dribble and you also but you feel like you know you play on ball defense but you're most likely will sit corner or that type of deal this might be the best way to make the lockdown build but again there's no right or wrong answer here okay so we are going to go 86 because we're going to go all the way up and make sure we get the speed booster on gold 83 to get the blow buys on gold and then we're going 60 on our strength to be able to get our clamps on gold along with our um fearless finisher okay um 58 on the vert because we want to get that aerial wizard and of course we got to max out our stamina at 99 because that is going to allow us to get our handles for days on gold and then of course our 94 feet on hall of fame so as you can see this is a very unique lockdown build one thing we're going to do here is just go 80 on the driving layup i talk about this all the time with layup timing makes sense to have the pro touch hall of fame but it also makes sense to go 80 to be able to get that fearless finisher on silver that slithery on silver you see i'm saying there's so much benefit there do not do driving dunk go 45 now i did make a lockdown build that did have a 93 driving dunk so if you want to check down that video out go ahead and check it out there's so many different variations of a 6-6 lockdown build i don't want to cookie cut nobody in this but i feel like this again this is a different type of lockdown build that i've made before so i just thought it'll be good to bring it out we go at 86 on the mid range because that unlocks the best jump shots right so you can get that then we go 76 on a three point shot because i'll give us corner specials on silver and, and they'll give us agent threes on bronze so again as you can see there's not a high three ball here it, it's really up to preference right if you want to flip it around and go higher three ball lower mid range you can do that there's no right or wrong answer here again like i said I'm not trying to cookie cut nobody it's just that there is just preferences to all of this, right? And then we go 79 on the pass accuracy as a secondary ball handler or primary ball handler. It makes sense to have the pass accuracy up, especially with the needle threader being on bronze. We're gonna max out that ball handle to be able to get that ankle breaker on Hall of Fame. And then as you can see here, as I go 85 here, as you see, you get your blow buys on gold, handles for days on gold, killer combos on gold, speed booster on gold, unpluckable on gold, right? You even get triple strike on gold. And then as you see, at the end of the day, this is a ball handling build. Like this build can dribble, it can shoot and finish at the basket. So this is what I I'll envision all 6'6 six, six builds should be. All 6'6 six, six builds should have past 92 ball handle. Makes no sense to be 6'6 six, six and have an 85 ball handle at all like listen at all it makes no sense you're better off going six eight right and having 85 ball handle then going six six and having a 85 ball handle all right now the defensive side we just spoke on that right we're going all the way up to 94 um that 94 will give you ankle braces challenger and workhorse all in hall of fame so and then we're going to go 91 on our steel so as you can see this is a really really good secondary primary ball handler in the park secondary ball handler in the rec good second um reliable lockdown in the rec 
primary lockdown in the park. You can be in the park and make this your primary ball handling build and then play primary defense with this build at the same time. The versatility of a 6-6 lockdown is very, very prevalent um, in the game and it's so evident right now. There's different variations and this is just one variation of how to make it. Um, again, you can max out that three. You can put lower the mid-range and up, up the three-point shot. It's really up to you about how you want to play. Um, again, like I said, I made a 93 driving dunk 6-6 version. There's so many different versions you can get, but the two-way mid-range creator is a really good one. The 76 three ball is still more than enough to be able to shoot consistently on this game. So that's why I'm not fearful of that. I got the 86 because I just wanted to make sure I get the medium position on gold and stuff. But again, everybody has a preference, right? But anyway, this is a 6-6. So now let's go ahead and check out the 6-7 lockdown build. All right, my nephews and nieces. So now let's check out the 6-7 lockdown build. So with a 6-7 lockdown build, you have the ability now to get anchor. So you know the 6-6 did not have block because you don't get anchor. There's no need to try to focus on that. Your secondary ball handling build, nut, whatever, okay? Now with the 6-7, we're definitely focusing on being a lockdown. 198 on the on the um, weight, max your wingspan all the way out, right? <clears throat> now what we're looking at is here is this. Minimum 85 you want to have on your speed. Your speed is also going to be associated with a lot of quickness still, even though now your primary defense is going to be heavily attached to that. We also want to go 82 on the acceleration. This is basically to get your Hall of Fame defensive badges. 60 again on the strength because that's for your clamps. And then what we're going to do is go 75 on the vert. And then, of course, we're maxing out that stamina for the Hall of Fame 94 feet. Okay. Then we're going to come up here. Same thing. Nothing changes. We want to go 80 on that driving layup. Um, to get exactly what I said, to be able to get that fearless finisher, that slithery on silver, then of course that pro touch on Hall of Fame. We get that um, driving dunk. We haven't stopped that at 52, but really it's just the 50 that we're getting at because I'll give you the CJ McCollum dunk packages. And then we're going all out with the 92 standing dunk, okay? So I love the 92 standing dunk on, the, on these builds because it allows you still to use the pro stick to be able to dunk. You get all the standing dunk animations. No, you don't get contact dunk animations, but you don't need it. Like this is what's beautiful about these type of lockdown builds. You can go backdoor, catch all the lives with Area Wizard on gold. I mean, you got everything gold here as far as the precision dunker, aerial, fast switch, and rise up. Very, very strong, okay? Then we go 79 on, I'm sorry, 79 on our three-point shot. Um, the 79 just gives that blindness on silver. We go 71 on the free throw to get that free points. And then again, that mid-range shot, we'll just keep it at a 64. We're not really worrying about the mid-range with this. You're going to be sitting corner most of the time just shooting threes. All right. And then what we're going to do here is 75 on the pass accuracy. All right. You got to have all builds got to at least have 75, especially lockdowns, playing in the park, the rec, wherever you're at. You need to be able to have the ability to get a decent pass back to your guard or whoever you're throwing it to. Okay. Makes no sense to go um, low on a lockdown. All right. But see, now <clears throat> with the new buff, I mean, nerf to steals, I felt like perimeter defense has now got the buff because now ladder quickness is more more tied to um your um your perimeter defense so with that being said now you're able to to my opinion to go all out with the 99 and then just go 91 which is still to get the gold badge okay but again it's, it's all about preference and what you're looking at we are going to go 78 with this with the 61 and by going that you get your workhorse hall of fame you get that bronze anchor but then you also get of course like i said that chase down so now this is can be your primary lockdown build just think about this think about this build right here and the 66 build running at the top of the key they both have distinct jobs of what they need to do on the defensive side they're both going to be menaces stopping the ball but then on the offensive side the the 66 build can go ahead sit um the 667 build can sit in the corner that 66 build can go ahead and be the primary ball handler or it can go sit corner itself there's a versatility here to have the 66 and that 67 both on the same team they have vastly different playmaking styles obviously this one here has more defense but again this is the differences you can do in a 66 and a 67 and then of course here's the name it comes out as a um not sure which one come out to right but um what is this one what did this one come out to uh, i think it's a 3 and d point or something like that probably 3 and d point yeah a 3 and d threat okay so this is 3 and 3 um 3 and d threat at the 6 7 height now let's go ahead and check out the 6 8 height all right so now we're going to check out the 6 8 height uh what we're going to be doing here is this is that the the 6 8 we can go small forward this 6 8 228 pounds with a seven foot four wingspan as you see only went seven foot four i did not go seven foot six reason being is because i want to have 90 strength at six foot eight and the six foot seven version also had 90 strength i feel like 90 strength is just really good for lockdown builds in general um if you're not getting 99 per defense if you get 99 per defense which that one at the six seven i made obviously you can't really get that but um 
the 90 strength is really good because of the way that you're able to get a move on force or on go right but now at 6 8 you don't get the 85 speed no more you can only go 81 um 73 that gives you your fast feet and now we go 90 strength but when you are going to go 6 8 with this lockdown build you're going to be able to get some more defense um rebounding that type of deal and that's why i feel like what, what makes this build more versatile you can literally run that six 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 seven and six eight all in the court and they are going to cook together because they all have distinct um abilities so that's kind of how i've been packaging this together this lineup would be absolutely toxic on the court we're still going 80 driving layup this time we're going 75 with a driving dunk that's gonna give us a Giannis ben simmons dunk packages we're still gonna go all the way up to 92 to be able to get that standing dunk animations so as you can tell this build is gonna be able to finish really well around the basket okay now we're gonna still go 79 with that three ball but we're also now gonna go 72 in the mid-range more mid-range shooting for a build like this we still can go 75 this would be a good swing build um, in the wreck so um again you can have a six eight swing that can play the four or maybe play that three depending on how like your lineup is being made but you'll be able to still shoot the ball really well finish really well still going 75 with that pass accuracy okay now let's check out the actual defense so now we are going to go 93 still right that gives you all those gold badges you see clamps ankle braces challenger we're going to go 91 all right and that gives you the gold badges glove interceptor and on right stick ripper right we go 63 on the interior defense because we got to do that for the block here so at 78 on the block you see now we get the chase down on silver and the anchor but now check this out we go all the way up to 83 to be able to get your box out you be able to get your um offensive i mean your, your rebounding your pogo stick all on silver and then 70 on the offensive so as you can tell this build has the ability to get rebounding so just think about this 6 8 build running the three that 6-7 build running to, and then the 6-6 six, six build running the point. Very toxic, a lot of defense on the court, on, on the floor, and that's what you'll get. You'll get a lot of lineups similar to this that has that versatility ability to be able to have everybody play defense, and it's basically three locks on the court, okay? But again, this is another good version that you can utilize that can play the three or can play the swing in the wreck. And of course, here you have my nephews and nieces, another solid build all the way around. Let me know in the comment section what you think about these different versions. 6'6, six, 6'7, six, 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 Which one do you like more? Which one do you like least? What would you change differently? But other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say back soon with the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.